what's going on in this crazy life right now. Um, you may notice that I have been quiet and I'm likely to be for a little while yet. So I just wanted to come on because I did put a post on my community page to let you know that we were having a few family issues and that I would be quiet for a little while. But I know that these posts are really easy to miss so I thought it would be easier if I just put a quick video up to let everybody know what the situation is. Um, and saying that, I'm not going to divulge all the information. All I'm going to say is that we're having a real hard time as a family just now with Brooks Autism. I think the transition to high school and the diagnosis and everything is just taking its toll on everybody as a family right now. Brooke isn't coping well, we're not coping well, and it's just a big hot mess right now. Um, all I can say at the moment is Brooke is staying with Granny Annie just now. She is homeschooling from there and hopefully it will get sorted soon and she will be home and we'll all be sorted. But in the meantime, I'm getting counselling from the, an autism perspective and we're trying to get Brooke counselling as well. We have tried to get counselling through the school numerous times and they're dragging their heels. The only other local option to us is CAMS, which are worse than useless in our experience. So we're not even going to go there. We are trying to, um, I've got Irene from Scottish Autism looking to see if there's anywhere that she knows of that could help Brooke. And um, we've got a few other people looking as well. So even if it's out with our area, we don't care. We just, we need to get help from everybody just now because we're all struggling. So that's the reason I haven't been making vlogs and I'm not likely to until this is all sorted out. I will come on and do the odd catch up like this. I might do the odd haul. I did put up the vlog the other day of b &M, but that was from before it all reached a crescendo. Um, and I've still got the haul to put up from that trip, so I will do that. But I wanted to just give you a wee quick catch up today. Um, what else has been happening? Abby's still at college, she's enjoying that, and she has got a new wee job as well that she's started the induction course today for. It's a three day induction, so she's away today to do the first one of that. I think one of the vlogs I said that she had an interview and that that's the job that she's she's got just now. So it's only 18 hours a week so she can fit it around her college which is fab. And yeah, that's that. We, Jack and I, were at Mull this weekend or the weekend just past there and I did start vlogging it but my heart wasn't in it to be honest so I didn't bother. It was just the two of us and the three dogs. We had Willa, Hugo and Clyde. It was a Cami Cross weekend that we normally do vlog. Um, Mull is where Tober Mori is, which was the home of Balamori, and we just love it there. It's our favourite weekend of the Cami Cross season, but obviously this time it, it didn't have the same appeal because we had really heavy hearts with everything that's going on, um, and it was a very wet. I mean, it's always wet when we're at Mull, but it was even worse than normal. We thought the caravan was going to get blown away, and the rain was torrential. There was thunder and lightning through the night on the Friday night to Saturday, but we still did enjoy it as much as we could. It was nice to get away from it all, just Jack and I, and have a chance to talk properly. So, yeah, that was that. However, <laughs> last, I think it was Wednesday, maybe, our washing machine packed in and rather than getting a full new washing machine which is obviously expensive Jack had a look at it and discovered it's the pump that's not working so we ordered a new pump but we've still not got it yet so you can imagine the amount of washing that's lying about I normally do a load of washing every day and we haven't been able to do a washing since last Wednesday so wait until I show you the amount of washing because of course we always have a load of washing when we come back from a Candy Cross weekend anyway, so wait till I show you this. 
So here we are in the utility room and a look at all that. The washing bag is under all of that. It's full under all of that. The majority of stuff on the top there is from the weekend. Like you can see all the dog's towels and things. And that big bag there is full of Jack and I's dirty clothes ready to be washed. There is the offending machine waiting to get the pump. Hopefully Jack's off today. So we're hoping that he can get the pump today so that I can get on with all this washing. I mean, look at it. On top of all that, I've got a bag full of dishes from the caravan that we are waiting to put in the dishwasher because we do hand wash them in the caravan, but they don't get properly clean. So I'm going to put them through the dishwasher. There's a Hugo. Hugo! Hugo! Hugo, come! There he is. There's a boy. I know you'll all be missing him. He had a great time in the caravan again, didn't you? Hey, we get out. Hello, Willa. Hello, Molly. Molly missed out this time because what had happened was at the time that we booked Mull, we only had the three dogs. So we had booked three dogs on the ferry. And then when we got Hugo, we said to the ferry, can we add an extra dog? And they said no because of numbers and COVID and things. So we ended up leaving Molly here because Abby was staying here anyway with Lomond and Zana. That's the other thing with Brooke being away at the moment. Me and Abby are on Zana duty, feeding her and things, which is fun. Because although we are fine with her, we don't like to cuddle her the way that Brooke does. And when it comes to the crickets and things, I just shove them in and, and close the, the door and hope for the best. Let her hunt them. Whereas Brooke actually hand feeds her the crickets. Ugh. Um... So, yeah, Abby stayed here with Molly. We had to take Hugo because it was a great socialising chance for him. Although, in saying that, it was so wet that he didn't really get to socialise too much. Um, but wait just now because there's more washing. Hold on, I'll show you this. So, here we are in our bedroom. There's a Clyde. And look at all that. That is all washing from before we went away that I thought there's no point taking into the utility room because it's just going to clutter it up. You can see all the Primark bags here. That's because I, I knew that I was going to need some underwear and things for taking since I didn't have a washing machine to get clean ones. So Jack and I took a trip to Primark last week. Um, I got some underwear. I didn't do a haul, but I'll just quickly show you what I got. I got a three pack of bras and I've got the white one on just now and they are so comfortable actually. They're just t-shirt bras. So you got the black one, the sort of brownie beigey one and a white one. And I think it was, yep, £15. And you just can't complain at that, can you? Three bras for £15. Um, and they are so comfy. They really are. I also got some joggers. I'm wearing the grey ones just now. I got them in grey and I got them in black. They were a fiver and they are so comfortable just for hanging about the house or going to Asda or hanging about the caravan, marshalling, that sort of thing. They're so comfortable. Um, I did get a pack of socks, but I've used most of them and I have used the pants. They really didn't have a great selection of pants in Primark, I have to say. They're decent pants, like the proper packs were either extra small or extra large. They didn't have anything in between. I did get these jeans, but they were hideous. So I'm going to take them back. Hold on, I'll open them up and show you. So this is what they look like. They're just straight leg and I thought that's what I want. I don't want, I don't like the skinny type jeans in this weather. See when it's wet, I just don't like them. I think it's too cold and damp and horrible. So I like jeans that go over my boots. Oh, I got boots. I'll show you them in a minute as well. Um, so I got these in a size 14 and they were £17. However, when I put them on, they were horrible. You'd think I'd just stole them off my dad. They were too long and so unbelievably baggy. They were just hideous. So they are going back. I've got the receipt in my pocket. There's no way I'm not taking them back at £17. Um, so yeah, they will be going back. Did I get anything else? Just my boots. Oh, let me show you something that I got for Abby for her Christmas. Hold on. Abby, if you are watching this, turn off now, please, because you will get spoilers and you don't like spoilers. And I don't like you getting spoilers. So go away. Go away. You switched off. Are you away? Good. <laughs> So we got her this. Look at that. It's a, called a Snuddy and it is one size. It's grey with pizza slices all over it. It is the softest material you will ever feel. Seriously, it is so soft. It's got fleece. Look at the hood. Oh, it's all fleece lined. 
it's all just that that fleecy material and it is meant to be way 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 oversized and Abby just loves wearing oversized snuggly things in the house and I thought she will adore this because of course she loves pizza as well who doesn't um, this was we'd seen it on their website in fact I don't think it was this one I think it was a plain one that we'd seen um, and so we decided to go and look for it when we were there and we couldn't see it we were looking at like the pyjamas and things couldn't see it it was actually like the men's section so it's called the Snuddy One Size and it was £14 Abby will adore it look how big it is oh I'm actually thinking about stealing it it just looks amazing so we got that I'll show you my boots now Right, I'll show you my boots and I've just realised I've had delivery over the weekend, yay! I'll open that in a minute as well. So these are the boots, just brown boots with the little buckles, just ankle boots, no heels because <laughs> it's me we're talking about. And these were £14, I got them in a size 4 and they're just perfect because it's too yucky now to wear my trainers all the time. So I thought they would be ideal. And oh! I also got some pyjamas for Brooke in Primark. Hold on. We're in Brooke's room now. There's Zana. See what I mean about me just throwing the tub in and letting her get on with it? Oh, there's still one hiding in there, Zana. There's still one hiding. Look at it though. It re we really need Brooke here to get that cleaned out. <laughs> um, while Brooke was away, I actually took the chance to get her room totally organised. So it's looking good now. Look, I've sorted her bookshelves. I've got a nice display on the top there. I've got a Harry Potter shelf for her. I don't think we showed you the photos from when they were at the Harry Potter studios. So there is, uh, Abby's got her own ones. There's Brooke on the the broom. Unfortunately, they wouldn't even let them take their masks off for getting the photos, which I think is just shocking. Um, there we go. Have you seen these wizards? So, and that was the, the Jacobite when they were on that. And her... Um, her Duda, her Slytherin bookmark, that was their um, butter beer that they got when they were at Harry Potter Studios. They had an absolutely fantastic time. And her wands, I've got one wand there, but I can't find the other one. I don't know what she's done with it. Um, so yeah, that's her, her Harry Potter um, shelf. I've got just some photos on that shelf there. And a couple of books and things. Most of her books are actually in her wardrobe. I've got her bed all tidied up for her. You wouldn't believe the amount of stuff that was hiding in there. Um, she's got her school stuff under there. I cleared all her desk for her. So that's all sorted now. Um, that is absolutely gorgeous. She got that at the Harry Potter Studios as well. And it's so cute. You actually, you can put your hand in it and the, the head moves and it makes noises. How do we make it make a noise? How do we do it? Hold on. I can't remember how it makes a noise, but look, you can turn its head from the inside. Uh, Willa, you're not getting it. It is really cute. But how does it make a noise? I can't remember. But it was really cute owl noises that it made. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, I digress again. And I've got her little sort of makeup station there. And I cleared out all her drawers and everything for her as well. But when I was clearing out her drawers, I realised that she really had a lack of pyjamas. So when we were at Primark, I got her a couple of pairs. You know what she's like for Minecraft, as you can see. So I got her Minecraft pyjamas. These were actually from the boys bit, but that won't bother her. So I got her them. They're really quite soft. These were... Eight pounds and I got them in 12 to 13 and from the girls bit I got her the nice grey ones again they're really soft they were 13 to 14 years because they didn't have them in 12 to 13 but oversized is good and these were 10 pounds so that's what I got Brooke how you doing big girl look at the size of that beardy now she's huge I think she's missing Brooke aren't you that's been what 11 days this is the 11th day now I think that she's been my mum um, and poor Granny Annie's getting driven demented as well. <laughs> anyway, right, so let me open that, um, the delivery that I got and see what's in that. I've just actually realised I haven't shown you my craft room since it got done up. Um, I did show it in detail over on my craft channel, so I'll just show you briefly here. You can go and have a look on my craft channel if you want it in detail. But where there was all a mix match of drawers and 
desks and all sorts of things there. Jack has now made it one big unit. So he built all this himself. So I've got lots of different storage there for all my different vinyls and things like that. I've got my everything that I need on a day-to-day -day basis out all the time now. So I've got my heat press and mud press there, my easy press, that's my sublimation printer, my Cricut. Up here, this is my main work area, so I've got all the bits and pieces I need there. I've got my laptop, I've got my deer on the wall, I love that. This is amazing. I can keep my, di my diamond painting out all the time on this little drawer bit and just pull it out when I'm using it rather than having to put that away all the time. Over here, I've got, um, I've just kept these drawers. That's my normal printer and my laminator. I've got little harps up on the wall. I did have an autumn thing up there, but it fell off. Um, the couch, it's a different couch than the one that we had before. This was in the cabin. But we bought Granny Annie and my dad nice new recliners because Granny Annie's hip was killing her. So we have got this and the old one um, was tipped because it was a wreck. I've got Abby's old makeup case trolley there that's got loads of different embellishments and card making things on it. I've got my cubes there that have still got lots of bits and pieces in it so more storage. And I've sorted out up the top there, so that is mine. Oh, and we've got a nice new wooden floor as well, rather well laminate floor, rather than the horrible carpet. So anyway, that was that. Let's have a look. I'm not actually sure what is in these parcels, so let me have a quick check and I'll let you see. Oh, I forgot about these. These are actually for Granny Annie. Um, I'm not going to say what they're for because um, I know that some people who go to her dancing are... Uh, do watch. Hello Fiona. Um, so yes, these are actually for Granny Annie for something special that I'm going to um, sublimate on. And oh, I've just seen the, wait till I hide my address. I've just seen the hashtag not guilty. This will be my skinny food code delivery. Let me show you. Again, Abby, if you're watching, look away because there'll be another spoiler for Christmas. So I am all about the gingerbread just now and I was running out of my gingerbread biscuit um, skinny food company coffee syrup. That's the word I was looking for. So that was why I went on to the website, but I'm always getting great deals and things. So I think it was if you spent £10, you got, or no, you were getting free delivery on everything. And if you spent £10, you were getting a free gift or something like that. So I went on to see what was new because I've always got new things on. So I ordered my gingerbread biscuit, which is what I went on for, but I also saw a cinnamon swirl and I thought, ooh, that might be quite Christmassy and nice for in my coffee as well. So I got that. And when I was having a look, I saw the zero palm oil peanut butter, but look, cookie dough flavour. So I thought, oh, I'm going to get that to try because Brooke loves peanut butter. I like peanut butter. Brooke loves it. She loves cookie dough and we're all about zero palm oil. It's hard to get a nice peanut butter that is zero palm oil. So I thought I would get that. It's vegan. It is, what's that say? 99% roasted peanuts, no gluten, palm oil, dairy, added sugar. It's made in the UK. It's a source of protein. And it's basically just peanuts. 99% peanuts and cookie dough flavouring, a little bit of salt and a little bit of sweetener, which is sucralose. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I'll let you know what I think of it. And this is what I got for Abby's Christmas. They now do kitchen gadgets. And look, a churros maker. I thought, oh, that looks brilliant. I think it was £25. So what I did was I went and had a look on Amazon and things to see if I could get it cheaper and I couldn't. So I thought I'm going to get that while I'm getting free delivery anyway. Abby loves churros. So does Brooke. So I got the churros maker. So that will be fun. Um, we'll make lots of churros over Christmas. I've seen different recipes and things on YouTube and you can also buy churros mix on Amazon and things. And oh, look, you can dip it in chocolate or dust it with cinnamon or sugar. Oh, so yeah, they've got lots of kitchen gadgets on there now. Um, definitely worthwhile having a look because they are a decent price. And guess what my free gift was? Their tomato ketchup. I really don't like their tomato ketchup. That's probably why they're giving them away as free gifts. Not a lot of people do. If you do like the skinny sauce tomato ketchup, please let me know and I'll send it to you because it's going to end up going in the bin otherwise. 
Um, yeah, I really, it's too sweet for me and a bit too runny. It just, it is, it's good in that it's gluten free, it's virtually zero sugar and all the rest of it. It's fat free, zero dairy, vegan friendly, sugar free, no added sugar, all the rest of it. But I just don't really like it. So if anybody likes that, please let me know in the comments below and then get in touch with me over email or um, message me on Instagram with your address and I'll send it to you because I'm sure not going to use it. So I think that is everything for this little catch-up video. I've not been crafting, to be honest. Again, my heart's just not been in it with everything that's going on. My head's up my bum. Um, so I'm not likely to do many vlogs until this is sorted out. Um, if I do, obviously Brooke won't be in them. Um, we're hoping it's going to be sorted soon. We're hoping that Brooke can get a counsellor and we can get back to normal. That's all we want. We just want back to normal or as normal as we can be now. We're obviously trying to... I've signed up for parent classes as well, for autism parent classes. I don't know... I was late in applying, so I don't know if I've got a place, but if not, they'll keep me on file for the next lot because, yeah, it's just been a lot harder than we expected. So, yeah, hopefully we will get all that sorted out soon. But I just wanted to let you know I am still here. I'm not going anywhere, but we are having a hard time as a family just now. So if I'm quiet, that's the reason why. So I hope you have enjoyed this little catch-up vlog and... Um, Please talk to me in the comments below. Let me know if you want that tomato ketchup. If you've not tried it, it's worth trying. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. Some people must like it or else they wouldn't sell it. But yeah, not my cup of tea. Anyway, I am going to go. If you have enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Once everything's back to normal, if you're new here, I'll, I do daily vlogs. I do hauls like this. I do crafts. I do just family life, dogs, all the rest of it. Um, so I do reviews, things like that. Oh, I'll let you know what I think of that peanut butter as well. And uh, yeah, so subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one whenever that may be. Right, I'm going to head off now because I'm having as usual. I will see you later on, everybody. Thanks. Bye.